What is up, you guys? I'm Wildline here, bringing a new series onto my channel. The new series is gonna be called Bottom Runner. It's basically me just running in the world forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And and I gotta try to complete uh, the end. That's basically what you gotta do. So um, we're gonna start off by getting some wood here. Oh, did I not get it? Okay, there you go. I got it. Got the wood, and basically, yeah. So you basically just have to have no settlement whatsoever. You can't have a house. You just you get some stuff. You go running, and you see what you can find throughout the world. Find as much villages and whatever you can find, and just live off the land. You gotta. You can't stay in the place for too long. Uh, like I can stay in a village for like probably uh, five minutes at most. So we're not gonna have a home. That's basically the whole thing about it. And we're just gonna explore the world of Minecraft, and especially with the new update 1.8. I know it's been out for quite a while, uh, but you know it's it's nice to get a update and then just biome run because you can explore all the new features that they have in it, and it's 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 just a blast. It's a blast to play, and it's very fun. I recommend you do it. You just basically gotta load up a world and just start w what I'm doing you just build yourself your foundations and make sure you bring food with you because you're gonna need it you're gonna need some food so that you can keep on running and we only have one life at this I'm playing hardcore bound running so this is one life and one shot only you have to play on hardcore because you're not gonna get another chance well, unless you don't want to play on hardcore but hardcore is more fun because you're like oh shit I can't die and you're more likely to not die because you know it's hardcore so let's go ahead and uh just get the food here rocking and rolling and just start sprinting let's sprint in this direction and see if i can find a cave because if we can find a cave then maybe i could go in it and grab myself some coal or not some coal yeah some coal and uh some well i can see a plains biome just ahead over there well if we get a horse we can speed through this but i think running is more better um let's see I don't even have a saddle anyways. We need to find a cave to get some coal and some cobblestone so that I can make a furnace. Ooh, chickens. We're not we're gonna stick to one food source and one food source only. Uh, and we're gonna keep it to uh, pork chops as much as no no, we'll keep it to uh, to cows, but for now, we're gonna have to live off pork chops. There are lots of woods here. I did wolves here, not woods. No, there's lots of wolves here. I don't wanna hit a single one of them because if I hit one they're gonna start Biting my ass, so don't want that. Ooh, bunnies. Hmm. Delicious. All right. Can is there any cave explosion anywhere around here? Okay. So lucky for me, there's a lot of pigs though. So let's just just go ahead and take them out real quick. And I'm just trying to look for a cave that I can go into. I don't really want to strip mine just quite yet. I just really want to get into a cave, and I'm at a sprint. So I can collect some cobblestone. Dun -dun. And we can start getting some food going. Some actual food. Because this raw food is not going to last me for much long. I already know it. Ooh, that guy actually dropped four. Four pieces of bacon. Unbelievable. Oh, I should probably get a texture pack that makes the bacon. I mean, make makes the pork chops drop as bacon. Oh my god, that would be so good. It would be such a good texture pack. I'll have it on like 24-7. Like 24/7 RP. So this, so that this it drops and it looks like bacon. I'm gonna be rolling in bacon. Yeah, I also really want to find some cows because I'm gonna want to enchant sooner or later. And also we need to pick. Oh, there's some. Uh, there's some of this stuff exposed right here. Some cobblestone exposed. You also want to keep your inventory very tight as to what you have in it. Like you have to have. Make sure you're using everything that you have in your inventory because it's, you're not going to have a home. You're not going to have a chest. You don't have any backpacks. This ain't a modded survival series. This is a biome running series. So just thought to let you guys know. Let's go ahead and take one more piece we can make. Uh, let's take a couple more pieces. One. All right. We need one more piece. And we can drop the pickaxe and that. That way I can make a furnace. And I can also make some tools oh, I should grab one more so I, I could have made I could have made a axe let's actually make an axe instead let's not make a pickaxe We're in, we don't need to go mining at the moment let's make an axe so that I can get some fuel to actually cook some of this pork chop 
And let's make a sword as well. There you go. Alright, so let's get some of this wood so I can actually cook some of these pork chops. And I'm not just eating raw pork chops. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's good and all. But we're going to stick to at least one food source. Because we don't want all these different food sources in my inventory. Because I'm going to need the inventory space as we progress in this series. Right now, it's, it's okay to like carry useless stuff but later on the road you're gonna get attached to it and you're gonna be like oh no I really want it I don't know why I just planted that sapling but hey it's for it's for the best man and you gotta be economical think eco economical wise I'm probably just gonna wait till this thing please hurry up all right just take that and oh, it's burning through it all right so let's pick up the crafting table we're not gonna need to craft anything right now pick that up so there are occasions where you are gonna have to stop as in this case you have to stop because I'm waiting for my food to cook so these are some occasions that you do have to stop and whatnot Ooh, another pig yeah so this is gonna be my food source this is what I'm gonna live off of unless I run out of pigs alright now let's get a nice Ooh, I can actually see no I fell that was not hardcore parkour skills let's go put I can actually see if I look over there. I can see a uh, what kind of biome is that called? It's, it's it's kind of a savanna biome. Yeah, I think that's a savanna biome over there. Um, so I can actually see a savanna biome. If I go that way, it's still gonna be birch wood, which is I mean, no, we don't want this. We want to go explore some different ones. Oh, you know what would be great? A great thing that we can get out of this series. We can actually get the achievement. Where's the achievement? Ooh, overpower. Alright, we can get the achievement if I can find it. It says, uh, where it says find all biomes. I'm pretty sure that's an achievement now. Unless they took it off. Did they take it off? Uh, did they? Oh, they took off the achievement. Well, yeah, it was like some boots. It was boots, and it used to say... Uh, find every single biome, but I guess they took it off because they knew everybody couldn't find a biome. But we'll go ahead and try to do as, as much achievements as we achievements as we can as the series progresses. So I'm actually gonna need this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna need this pickaxe back. So let's get three more. Of this two and three. Let's right, throw this out and let's throw this out and let's throw that out. There you go. We actually could have used the wooden sword and the wooden pickaxe to make some food as fuel for the thingy for this. For cooking some food. But it's okay now. Alright, because I just realized that I'm not going to be able to pick up my furnace if I don't have a pickaxe. Alright, so, uh, well, I'll cut you guys back in once the food is done and ready to, uh, go. So, uh, yeah, I'll cut you guys back in.
Alright you guys, we are back, and now we don't got everything, we only got four left, but it's okay, let's just go ahead and just throw that out, and let's, let's get going, let's go ahead and go to the Savannah Biome that I spotted earlier, it was right over here, I believe so, indeed, I think it, actually, let's collect, mm, not leave it behind, we'll collect some more, uh, pork chop later, oh, it's getting dark, actually, let's go ahead and kill some sheep so I can make a bed, where are the rest of the sheep, no, I heard some few sheep around here, hmm, yeah, I know I just dropped a mutton, I don't need it, I don't need it, um, let's just go ahead and go to the savannah biome. I think it's a better place because it's more open and less likely to get snuck up on. Like, you can see where they're attacking you from and you're not running around uh, blind. So, let's just go. Ooh, pumpkins. I don't really need pumpkins. Um, unless I want to go into the end, which, uh, no, I'll think about, uh, eh, no, I think I can buy some pumpkins later. Alright. So we're in the savannah biome and I'm looking for sheep so I can sleep through the night. Oh, throw that egg out. Oh, I, I just made birth to a little baby chicken. That is amazing. That is, oh god, there's so many pigs around here. Alright, so I just need to find some sheep, please. Please, can I please find some sheep? I really just need to find some sheep. Oh, we found a desert biome. That is also amazing. You know what we can do with desert biome? You know what we can find in desert biomes? We can find... You guessed it! A senior temple! Oh, can you drop me? Oh, I don't need a carrot, actually. It's not a survival series, like I said, it's biome running. Uh, so let's see if we can actually get into this uh, good sand biome. Hopefully it's a big one so that we can find a temple. Because those things have lots of loot. They have quite a bit of loot that's actually going to help us out. So let's go ahead and see what we got, okay? Oh, got a little trench right there. Let's go down through this trench. This is a nice little trench. I've never seen this generate in Minecraft before, but it's a nice cool little trench. Oh, got skeleton. Get out of here. Ow. That did one heart damage. Ow! That did one and a half hearts. Stop. That tickles my butthole. Gosh, dude. Oh, let's take all the sugar cane that we can find so that we can make some books, bookshelves later down the line and we can enchant some level 30. Do some level 30 enchants. Uh, but not right now at the moment because we don't have... Oh, which is there. I want to steer clear from them. Uh, nothing that I can see. Any sand temples, please? Well, if we can find a well, then we know we're really close to a sand temple. I just really want to get through the night. I'm going to get killed. <laughs> and we're playing on hardcore, so uh, that's a bit like, ooh. Probably should have killed that spider, by the way. Get some string. Uh, yeah, let's take the high ground. Oh, there it is. There's a temple. There we go, baby. We found a temple. And we can get some loot out of it. Let's get some big old loot out of it. All right, let's kill these spiders uh, so that we can get some string and hopefully get a bow. Come on now. All right, there you go. Thank you. We don't need to mess with that guy right there. And what we actually got to do is... Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, take him out. Can you drop me a string? No, we need... What? I need one more piece of string. There's a spider right there. Amazing. Oh, no, there's a spider right there heading to the sand temple. Alright, cool. So let's take this guy out and... Whoa. The lag there. Let's eat some food before we die. And this is going to be a very dangerous thing to accomplish. That thing right there. But let me just go into the forest over there. See if I can find any sheep so I can sleep through the night. And then I'll make my way towards the, the temple right there. In a sec, though. Just see if I can find ooh, some more spiders. Oh, it's near a witch. Oh no. This could this could cause some problems. Nope. Oh, oh, got a string. Let's go. Let's bounce. Get out of here. I don't want to deal with no witch. Drop me two string. I only need one. Oh, is this a ravine? Oh, yes, we found a cave. Is it a cave? Oh, it's a troll cave. Or oh, you fucking cat hey, me. We could have found some iron. We could have had a better chance at mobs in the night. Oh no! No! Oh, my god, I'm gonna die. Yo, Lord Jesus, no. 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 Oh, why am I getting out? Why am I getting out? I should probably go back in. This is very dangerous. If I get shot by a skeleton now, I'm fu- <gasps> No way! I found a village! Oh, god, no! I'm getting- No! 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 This is not how it ends. This is- Ow! This is not how it ends! Oh god, I'm gonna die out here. I should have dug a hole. Oh no. Oh god, no! They can see me for over a mile. Oh yes, we found some sheep. Oh my god, my luck is unbelievable right now. Oh no. Nope. 
no, 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 just kill these sheep. Come on, give me. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get trapped. I'm gonna get killed. Let's get in the house. Oh, no, don't mess with the villagers. <laughs> oh, we got, found a blacksmith. Found a blacksmith. Let's go. Oh, God. No. Oh, what do we got in here? Oh, yes, baby. Almost full iron. <gasps> Baby, we are getting so lucky. First episode in. Let's put this down. Uh, can we make a bed, please, sir? Please, sir, can we make a bed and sleep through the night? Oh, come on, please. Don't be a douchebag. Come on, come on. Nope. Let me sleep. Yes, I can sleep through the night. Yes, baby. We got this. Oh, God. I destroy that. Um. Oh, yes. All right. Now, let's leave a few junk that we don't need. We're going to need that, and we're not going to need that. We don't need that for now. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. And let's get out of here. Oh, no. Get away from the villagers, you douchebags. No! No! Move! Move out the way! Damn. All right, what do you trade? Oh, I had some raw things earlier. Oh, I don't really need emeralds, though. Let's take this stuff. All right, sweet. Um, what we need to find? Oh wait, what do we actually need the village for? Oh, bookshelves, bookshelves. Oh, but we did get full, almost full iron out of the book, out of the, the village. So I guess it's kind of good that we found this village. Oh, did you drop a bow? No, he didn't. Okay, that's kind of sucks. Ow, that hurts. All right, so wow, it's a very small village. I thought there were some. No, what are you doing? No, don't suicide yourself. Don't fuck life. All right. All right, there you go. Just saved you. All right, let's go. We are good to go. We just stopped by the village, and now let's actually take a few carrots. Ow! Stop it. Ow! And let's go explore the temple. Yeah, temple. Now that we got full iron and we found a temple, I think we're good to go. Oh no! All right, let's go. So we found a temple. This is also this is expected in bottom running. I mean, you're expected to find villages and villages and all sorts of structures like this because you're just running. You really don't have a home. If I would have settled right where I was, I probably would have never found this because I don't really go exploring too far. You know, nobody really goes exploring too far from their house. So bottom running is just so great. You just find so much stuff and I almost by died by a witch. But you know what? Let's. Let's just have a good time. Let's, let's go in here and get some mad loot. Let's get some mad loot out of this thing. And we'll be popping, man. We'll be we'll be straight out popping and locking. Alright, let's go. So, we gotta remember there's a TNT trap on this. So, we gotta pick up every block that we pick up or else it'll fall into a pressure pad. And all the TNT will explode, as you can tell. As you can see, I mean. So. Alright, so we got some four iron ingots. Good. That's good. We're actually gonna need to build our way out of here. So. Get that out the way. We got that. Uh, we don't need the bones. We got this stuff. And we're not going to need the golden horse armor. So, alright, we got what we need. We got the gold. We got the iron. And we're good to go. <laughs> we just. Oh, we can make a golden apple with the eight. Or, yeah, with eight gold. And we have ten gold. So, let's just place these. Uh, let's place this down. That down. That, that down. Because we don't need that stuff. Oh, I need it to actually build up, but whatever. Like that, and like that. There you go. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this joint. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here, and let's collect all this stuff that's around here. Hopefully, I can find some cows soon, take them out, and get a bunch of leather. And then we'll go. Is that a... No way. No way that's another temple. Are you? F I am just really another temple. What? Oh my god! I am. This game is just too kind for me. Like, just what? <laughs> Random temple spawns. Wow. All right. Well, let's go ahead and raid this thing. And unbelievable. This one's almost submerged. It's key. 
Right now, right now, right now, right now. We need to make our note to ourselves. Whenever we start a biome running series, you have to look for a sand biome. Those things will get you rich. My god. Look at me. Look at me, man. I am just... Ugh. I found two temples in one sand biome. I mean, they are a bit risky. I mean, one of these blocks, like that one, almost fell and hit that pressure pad. Uh, you could potentially be looking at uh, some... some oh, and the loot in it is unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, look at it. Look at the gold. Oh, look at it stack up. Look at that gold just stack up, man. The gold is stacking up. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this popsicle joint. <laughs> this is just awesome. Alright, so... Upward, and... It's, uh, no, let's put the TNT down. Wait, what if I do this? Let's go! No, no, the entrance is blocked! No, no. Oh, it was that way. <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Oh my god! Remind me. Note to self, never do that again. Got me down to three hearts, that could have been bad. Oh my god, dude. Pushing my luck right now, pushing my mad luck right now. Fuck, got me down to three hearts. God damn, never do that again. Note to self, never do that again. Oh, a bunch of sugarcane over there. How much sugarcane do I'm looking at? Alright, I'm looking at that much. I think we're gonna need three stacks of 64. I think that's gonna be a good amount of sugarcane until we stop on the sugarcane. Or until we have, uh, I think 20 books or 16 books to get level 30 enchants. But of course, we're gonna have to get into caves. And I haven't seen any caves lately. Caves, yeah, caves don't really slow you down as long as you're always moving in them. So yeah, you can you can go uh, mining in, uh, bottom running. You just can't have a home at all. You can't have a little fortress where you go, and it's it's like safe kind of in there. You can't have a safe place. Caves aren't really safe places because mobs generate in there, and you can potentially die. I mean, sleeping through the night is kind of like pussy move, but what, hey, what, what, what? <laughs> I'll try to sleep not, because we, we, we can't sleep through every night, because we're going to need ender pearls. So we're going to need to find endermen while we're biome running in the nighttime, so that we can defeat the end. Alright. We got all this sugarcane. Is there going to be cows around here anytime soon? Oh, I can kill horses. I don't like the sound that the horses make when they die. They, they sound so innocent. Look. Oh my god. Well, yeah, it's because these guys, don't they drop... They don't drop leather? I thought they dropped leather. Do you need like a fortune three? Oh, they do drop leather. Just very rare. Alright, so these guys do drop leather. I'm sorry, guy. Oh, he has a baby. No, oh, well, looks like they're a couple. Whatever. Sorry guys, need the leather for some books, uh, so I can make an enchantment table. Well, not an enchantment table, but in order to get level 30. Alright. So, just keep on killing them. Oh my god, it sucks that not every single one of them just drop. You know what, I think it's better if I just go find a group of cows and kill them instead, because they always drop leather. Mostly always drop leather. Let's get one more piece off this guy. Can we get one more piece? Oh, we got two pieces. Thank you. Very kind of you. Collect the sugar cane. This is all what biome running is about. Setting yourself up for later. Just getting as much resources as you can. Since we can't start a sugar cane farm, get all of it that we can. We found another sand biome. So this is very good. We can explore this and see if we can find a couple more t uh, temples out of this. And get as much gold as we can. So, oh, you can already tell. Do you see that thing in the distance? That thing right there? That's a well. You can already tell there's something around here. You can already tell. A village or something is set somewhere around here. So we're going to have to explore this next episode. So, oh, is this a cave? Does it go down in deep? Does it go down? Oh, it does. Oh. Maybe we might ought to explore this instead. Oh, we don't need iron. We really need diamonds, though. Oh, this is a nice cute little tunnel. Uh, right when I was out troying, uh, hmm. I think a temple is more better than a cave because you can actually get some pretty decent stuff out of a temple, as you can already tell. 41 gold. So we're going to go 
look for around here for a temple next episode. So hope you guys liked or enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Wait, did I already see you? Thought I already saw a temple, but I think it's my eyes just no. I think it's my eyes just playing tricks on me. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and see you guys next time. Peace out.